tests rolling out to the state's public schools, and the goal is to get tests in the hands of students and staff to more quickly flag COVID issues. As WBZ's Christina Rex reports, the governor hopes this will get in-person learning back to normal. Schools that opt into this new program will send kids home every other week with rapid tests similar to this one in their backpacks and expect them to test themselves at home weekly. Actually, we just got a communication from my daughter's school about this. Parents are reacting to another change in school in the age of COVID. That can't be a bad idea, right? Get everyone tested, check what's going on. A switch to at-home testing. At my daughter's preschool, there has been an increased number of COVID positive cases amongst the uh, faculty, staff, and, uh, and students. And so um, I think that it's a, it's a great way, one way that we can help uh, keep environment safe at this point. If a school switches to this new program, that means test and stay is no longer, and the school will only focus on testing symptomatic kids, relying on most students and families to test themselves at home each week. Over half a million test and stay tests have been, been done. The governor says the switch is a better way to use resources, since the test and stay program has shown that very little transmission happens in school. That's 99% of test and stay tests have come back negative. This is a step in the right direction. Dr. Darone from Tufts Medical Center says it's a move towards normalcy, treating COVID like any other virus. The future really is no asymptomatic testing. The future is no contact tracing, no quarantines, but symptomatic testing. Um, and so we, we have to take steps, have little steps to get there. And now is the time, she says, as the Omicron surge takes a steep curve in the right direction. Data shows the surge peaked around January 8th, when the week-long case average was around 23,000. Today, it's around 10,000. Seven days worth of going down. That's pretty real. That's pretty real. That's pretty good news. I like it a lot. And schools that choose to opt into this program will have tests delivered at the end of this month. In Boston, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Christina, thank